Welcome to all myself Professor Deshmukh M.S. presenting the theory lectures based on Reynolds equations of the elasto hydrodynamic lubrication. Now, what is elasto hydrodynamic lubrication first? Elasto shows that elastic property dynamic. Hydro means what there is in the lubrication. Dynamic, that is dynamic action, that is motion should be there. So, the equations will be derived for the condition that is the elasto hydrodynamic lubrication that of your elastic property and also that having the dynamic properties. So, if there is these two. Conditions are there for the lubrication. We are having the some Reynolds equations are there. So we will see in this third lecture. Now this is a Reynolds equation of E H L in the point contact. The Reynolds equations is generally used to describe the fluid flow in a narrow gap. Okay, now this is the conditions that the Reynolds equation is generally used to describe the fluid flow in a narrow gap. It is directed in novel form by simplifying the Navier-Stokes equations, assuming that the lubricant has the characteristics of the novel from the by simplification the navier stokes equation assuming that the lubricant has the characteristics of the new newton's fluid with the no slip boundary conditions So, Reynolds equations, keep in mind these things, it is used for the narrow gap and it is also directed in novel by forming the simplification navier stokes equations. So, the lubricant has characteristics of no Newtonian fluid with no slip boundary conditions. Now, considering the laminar equations, we are having some parameters just like here. The parameters are given and the values is given through that. The cubic slides again that is a burial line. Or you can see depth, distance between particles, eigenstrains, applied load should be the 225, maximum hertz contact pressure 1.2, 10 to 9 pascal, speed of spherical contact is 0.05. Elastic modulus of the half space E is equal to 0, elastic modulus of half space E1 is equal to 1.65 10 raise to 11, elastic modulus of the spherical contact 1.65 10 raise to 11, the Poisson's ratio of half space V1, Poisson's ratio of the spherical contact V1 is equal to 0 0.3. Pressure viscosity coefficient, 
that is 2.2 10 raised to minus 8 we are considering the laminar and isothermal flow neglecting the roughness between the contact surfaces okay now these are the some assumptions that we have to put the viscosity change with the disturbances characteristics of the non newtonian fluid the spherical contact moves along at x1 axis the in the model the conductive the equation of the non newtonian fluid is nu is equal to or gamma is equal to du1 upon dx3 is equal to tau 0 upon tau theta sin h tau e upon tau 0 so this is a newtonian fluid so they are having the some sharing are there some velocity is there okay gamma is the shear rate of shear that is tau 0 is characteristic shear stress theta is equal to newtonian viscosity and tau e is equal to under root of tau x1 square plus tau x2 square so tau x1 is equal to eta tau u1 upon tau dx3 so gamma dot x1 is equal to du1 upon dx3 is equal to tau 0 upon eta sin h tau x1 upon tau 0 so eta star dash is equal in viscosity which will be defined so eta star is equal to eta 1 upon h sin h inverse of eta eta is equal to eta sin dash tau 0 <coughs> sorry there are no equations for the isothermal ehl in the contact point of contact that is the, the d upon dx1 in bracket sigma upon eta upon e is to h3 dp1 upon dx1 whole bracket plus derivative with respect to x2 is equal to eta upon eta eta upon eta e raised to h3 dp derivative of pressure with respect to x2 that is equal to twice mu s d sigma upon h sigma h upon delta x1 so where u s is the average speed between the two contacting surfaces along the x direction and it is equal to to the speed of spherical contact so this is the renal equations for the isothermal ehl in the point contact for a non newtonian fluid can be written in this format